to introduce Woodlands Academy's official submission, Josh Rosen, and his documentary called The Popularity Project. Popularity. What is it? According to Dylan Schoenfield, one of the most popular girls at Woodlands Academy, it's a lot of things. Being popular is so not easy. We're in the movie. It's like royalty or the first lady. You have to live up to impossible standards of beauty, and you're expected to be a good influence. Like, I help out the less fortunate. Fashion victims. <laughs> Popularity is contagious. What, like a cold? <sighs> Duh. That's why Hannah and Lola battle to be my better friend. Their popularity comes from mine. <laughs> What are your plans after school? Uh, Pilates, but not on Tuesdays. It's yoga. <laughs> when you graduate, you know, hopes, dreams, what's your life goal? Blossom Queen. <laughs> after that. After? If I don't win Blossom Queen, my life is officially O-V-E-R over. <laughs> so populars only hang with populars? Cats don't hang with dogs, right? Really? That's your argument? It's better this way. If everyone stays in their own group, there's no chance of misunderstandings. Like, what kind of misunderstandings? Well, take you and me, for instance. If we mingled outside of doing my movie together, you might get the wrong idea and ask me out. <laughs> Imagine the war. You'd be so embarrassed. <clears throat> <laughs> Get it? Check it. <laughs> so is Dylan the cat or the dog? <laughs> Are you getting my good side? This one right here? Could one person be this shallow? I chose Dylan as my documentary subject because I wanted a challenge to uncover the truth about popularity. But I also wanted to make something real. I was determined to discover the real Dylan Schoenfeld. Oh no, the volleyball game's over, Asher! What's wrong? And it wasn't enough for you to embarrass me in front of my friends. You embarrassed me in front of the entire city. Embarrass you? But I was trying to show the real you. And the real me is humiliating. I spent all of middle school and high school trying to get rid of the real me and perfect the new Dylan. Dylan, I, I, I... I don't get it, and you never did. I trusted you, but you never cared about me. All you cared about was that stupid movie. That's not true. It's not? Just leave me alone, Josh. And by that, I mean poor and effort. There's lots of sides to her. She can be funny and normal and full of life. Josh, Josh, look at this. Zoom in, look at it. Josh, zoom in right here, right here, look. Zoom in, do you see that? What's that say? What's that say? <laughs> and plus! <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah! <laughs> She can also be sensitive and vulnerable and compassionate. Is that your mom? Yeah. She met my dad at the Woodland Spring Formal. Crazy, huh? Wait. Was your mom Blossom Queen? Back in the olden days. 1985. <laughs> I bet you miss her. Pots. It gets kind of lonely here with just me and my dad. So when you said there was nothing more to life 
and winning Blossom Queen. Yeah. Because my mom. If I win, it's like we're still connected. Like she's still with me. And as I discovered the real Dylan Schoenfield, I figured, yeah, she might be popular. She might really like shoes, but she's more than that. She's smart and cool and real. And that's the Dylan I wanted to show the world. Yeah, so maybe the truth didn't turn out to be a, a hard hitting expose on popularity, but I don't care. I have a new friend. That's what really matters. <laughs>